All right, just saw the uh, newly released trailer for Leg DC's Legends of Tomorrow. Can't believe they're calling it that instead of like some. There's hundreds of DC names you could have gone with. Why did you pick something like that? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, the trailer just premiered as of this recording about oh, I'd say about ten minutes ago. So with this trailer, uh, with this trailer, uh, I thought it was pretty good. I mean, it's probably all for the pilot. Yeah, it's it's pretty much the pilot. And uh, what was I gonna What was I gonna say? Um, with this pilot, it, it, yeah, with this uh, trailer, it's just pretty. It, yeah, it looks like the the pilot in a nutshell, and it looks fun. I think that's something DC kind of lacks now and again. I mean, other than Flash, which which is fun, uh, Arrow isn't fun anymore. I'm trying to will myself to do that review, guys. I really am. Don't worry. But it's coming. Don't worry. It, it's coming. Uh, but let's get back to this. I thought it looked pretty cool. I mean, uh, Hawkgirl looks like they're going to be going down the reincarnation route rather than the... They could go down the alien route with uh, with Hawkgirl. They, they may... They, uh, they may... They may as well do... They may, may well do that. But for right now, it looks like they're going to go with the whole reincarnation route, and who knows if they'll have Carter Hall in here as well, but for right now, all we have is Shaira. And, uh... <laughs> uh, what else did we have in here? We Apparently, yeah, uh, Katie Lo uh, Lovitz, Kathy Lovitz, or however you say her name, I'm terrible with names, <laughs> she's back as White Canary, which a lot of people were speculating they're going to use the Lazarus Pit to bring her back, and uh, apparently have no effects because, well, <laughs> didn't have any effects on Thea, but who knows, maybe they'll make her a little more darker as White Canary. And again, a lot of people were speculating, maybe she'll become White Canary. You can't have two Black Canaries in here, that's stupid. Even though Batman had the whole Batman Incorporated, but we don't talk about that because we're selective in our memory. Aren't we fans? Anyway. So, I think it's really cool that they're making her White Canary. I think it would have been interesting if they made her something else. Like, uh, I know, th yeah, we have her as White Canary. I mean, like, I'd have been surprised if they made her Cheshire since, you know, spoiler, uh, spoiler right here, if you haven't seen the Arrow Season 3 pilot, it looks like, uh, Thea is going to become Red Arrow or Speedy or Arsenal or ooh, I don't even care anymore. <laughs> so, uh, what was I going to say here? Uh, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> but yeah, it looks really cool. I've also, let me talk about Rip Hunter real quick. Uh, real quick. I think it's all still hilarious that Arthur Darville, who, is, who was on a show about time travel for, you know, three, four years, and now he's actually playing a time traveler in another show. The irony is not, and humor is not lost on me here, people. But let me say this about Rip, what they did with Rip Hunter. They're not giving him, like, a spacesuit or whatever. They're actually making, it looks like they're making him time-traveling Constantine. No, really. When you look at him, you're like, did they just recast John Constantine? Oh, he's Rip Hunter. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, I think that's, uh, I think it's a little weird that they're going that route with Rip Hunter. You know, just make him, uh, just basically, Constant, uh, yeah, John Constantine, if he was a time tra yeah, if he was a time traveler. That's, that's, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's an interesting angle to go with Rip Hunter, and also kind of make him jerky, which I was like, okay, he's probably going to be bit, bit, kind of an asshole, he's probably going to have bits and pieces of Booster Gold in there, which I was kind of not wanting, but oh well, I'll get over it. Let's see, also we have Captain Cold and Heatwave on the team, which I'm really interested to see where they're going to go with that, and how long are they, is Captain Cold and Heatwave going to be on the team? How long are they going to be on this team, and uh, are they, how... Uh, you know, how long are they going to be on this team, or are they going to actually switch sides and be good guys, or are they just going to be around for the one season and be like, okay, we're out fight, we're going to go off and kill the Flash again, bye, and then replace them with two other characters, possibly Vixen and somebody else. Uh, anyway, uh, what else did I want to talk about this? Oh yeah, the villain in here is apparently Vandal Savage. We don't see Vandal Savage. But it's hilarious that he has this, you know... I'm glad they're finally using Vandal Savage, because for some reason I feel like he would have been a better villain than Ra's al Ghul. Because Vandal Savage, when you think about it, is not... He doesn't really have one villain. He's not just one... He's one of those, like, comic book villains that is just not, like, one... Is not, like, one singular rogue. He's everybody's rogue. He's everybody's villain. He's kind of like, uh... He's, he's like one of those villains you could say that, oh, you can't really... Class he's like Absorbing Man, who's everybody's villain. 
not to say that Vandal Savage is exactly like that, but what I'm saying is, you can't really pin down of who Vandal Savage is really an antagonist to. You could say Justice League, but then again, he's fought the he's been an enemy of the Justice Society. He's been a villain of the, even the Legion of fucking superheroes, which I actually think would be cool if they act, if the Legion of superheroes actually showed up in here. Like uh, maybe they're they're from a farther future. They come in to handle a problem in uh, time. Maybe they hunt down the fearsome one of the the uh, fearsome five like they did in that Smallville episode. And with Jeff Johns now show running, I, I imagine that you know he would be you know Jeff Johns of all people would be like, hey guys. We're going to put the Legion of Superheroes in here. You can't stop me. Bye! I don't know why he sounds like a bridged popo, but that, now that's going to be, whenever I think of Jeff Johns, he's going to have the voice of a bridged popo. You cannot stop me. Uh, what else did I want to talk about with this, uh, with this trailer? Other than it, the action looked really good, it kind of reminded me a lot of the Avengers movie, both of them, with the whole fight, you know, all those, you know, all the team members coming together in one circle to fight all of the, you know, big villains, rogue, you know, army. And again, I feel like that's what they're taking uh, a piece out of, because again, it look, it has that fun Avengers feel to it. And then, and then Ray just says, oh yeah, is that the best they could throw at us? And Captain Cold's just like, oh, why did you say that? And boom, robot foot! And I was like, ah, robot! I didn't think we'd get a giant robot, but we got a giant robot! Yes, this show, uh, this DC, the C, DCCW universe gives no more fucks. They get when you have a giant robot in your show attacking people in color-coded costumes, you have announced to the world that you are willing to do fucking anything. <laughs> You're up for it, you know. So, really interested to see where they're gonna go with that and. Uh, I'm wondering how... Because it looks like Air, uh, Oliver and Barry already know Vandal Savage and the whole army thing. So, curious to see how they're, how they're going to tie into that and how much this is going to tie in with Arrow and Flash. I mean, hell, it spins out of both shows, so now you have three shows in the same universe. Can't wait to see how you juggle all this without sacrificing quality for quantity. Balls in your court, DCCW. But yeah, where else was I going with this? Um, where else was I? Oh yeah, the other thing we got to see Ray shrink. We got to see Ray Palmer shrink, which I thought I kind of like. I got a little giddy. I was like, oh, it look, I mean, it's CW budget. That's what. That's kind of the thing I I put in in uh, suspension of disbelief with this uh, show is that you know we're going on a budget here. I mean, the, that robot foot did not look good, nor did the, <laughs> did the Adam shrinking look any better. But I have a, I'm suspend I have my suspension of disbelief going on, so I'm willing to forgive it. All in all, it looks really cool and really excited for this. Can't wait for twenty for this to premiere in 2016, and it looks like it's been picked up for a full season. So really wondering how this is all going to play out in one uh, big season and then go on from there. And I'm wondering who they'll cast as Vandal Savage. I don't know who who would be a good Vandal Savage. Uh, honestly, I'm not. I suck at casting. But anyway, so you guys tell me if you've seen the uh, DC Legends of Tomorrow uh, trailer. What do you guys think of it? Do you guys like it? Do you guys hate it? And what do you think is uh, what the team's going to be like throughout this season? Anyway, once and who do you want in this show? Like her heroes or villains? That's another good question. Anyway, once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I'm out.